Hey everyone, it is Friday. We made it, we made it through another week. So along with that Friday feeling where we've got some UNICEF dances to do, uh, we're also gonna talk about flexibility. So flexibility Friday, who knows what flexibility is? I'm sure again, you're giving me some great answers. Flexibility is thinking about our muscles and stretching our muscles. So as a gymnast, you can do lots of back bends and you can do the splits. As a soccer player, it's really important because it keeps you healthy. And just as a stepper or just as a fit human being, it's good to be flexible because otherwise our muscles get really tight and our bodies get really tight and that's when we can get injuries. So you are all growing very quickly. So your muscles are, or your bones are growing quicker than your muscles, which means you need to stretch a little bit to keep those muscles moving, to keep blood flowing through your muscles so you don't get an injury. So this is what we're gonna talk about when it comes to flexibility, which means stretching. We're gonna do a little bit of stretching today. So I have asked all the PE teachers, I've asked some soccer players, um, and some gymnasts, what are some of their favorite stretches? So I'm gonna walk you through some stretches and Charlotte is gonna walk you through some stretches that she does in gymnastics. So you can find a place to sit. We're gonna start up sitting down and we're gonna start with butterfly stretch. So butterfly stretch is good for our inner, inner thighs, opening up our hips. So you can just sit, try not to bounce, but just kind of let those muscles relax, sit up nice and tall. And when you're stretching, it's really important to breathe because you want that oxygen flowing through so your muscles relax. So you take nice deep breaths. And exhale. So letting those muscles stretch. So this is butterfly stretch. We're gonna do each stretch about 10, 15 seconds. And let those muscles relax. Okay, next we're gonna go into um, a little hamstring stretch, but sitting down. So just forward fold. So sit up nice and tall. And exhale, just reach. See if you can reach past those toes. See where your fingertips get. We all have different flexibility in the backs of our legs. So just see how far you can get. And it's good to inhale. And then you exhale and you reach. And hold and come back. One more time. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Can any of you put your head on your legs? I bet you can. I bet you're super flexible. And four point kneeling stretch. So you can sit on your bottoms. We're gonna sit on our bottoms. And you put that one leg over and you just sit into it. And you just sit, kind of like a cross-legged stretch. And it stretches the back of your leg, which I bet you steppers, you have some, the backs of your legs are probably quite tight from going up all those steps. So this is a good one to do. And then switch over and sit into it. And notice, is one side tighter than the other? Our sides of our bodies aren't very even, so I bet one side feels a little bit tighter. So we've done our on the floor stretching. We're gonna do some stretching standing up for Flexibility Friday. But let's try the sit and stand challenge. Remember this, this tests our flexibility. So we've done this before in class, but let's try it. So we've done our on the floor stretching. Now we're gonna try this to see how we go. So arms up, remember you sit down and you get back up again. Can you do it? See if you can do it five times. Sit down. Some of you may need to cross your legs, but see if you can do it so you don't cross your legs. Ooh, and get back up again. So try it five times and this tests a lot of the flexibility in your knees and your lower body. Two more times, keep going. If you can do it, amazing. If not, this is a great test. So let's do some more stretching and then try it again. And this can be our test for flexibility to see if our stretching has helped us become a little more flexible. All right, so standing up. This is a really good one for our backs because we're sitting a lot and our hamstrings. So you just reach down and touch those toes and let your head, neck and shoulders be really heavy. So shake your head, yes and no. And then roll yourself back up again. Let's do that again. Take an inhale. Exhale, just reach down. Let everything relax. Head, neck, and shoulders heavy. Shake the head yes or no. Roll yourselves up. So do that for me two more times. Take a nice big inhale. Exhale, you roll down. Let everything be heavy and come back up. And one more time. 
Fantastic. Now let's try a little side bend to the sides of our body. So imagine you're gonna just curl yourself over a big beach ball. So stand up nice and tall, inhale, exhale, curl yourself over that beach ball and inhale back up. And now the other side. So inhale, exhale, curl yourself over that beach ball and come back up. And again, inhale, curl yourself. Oh, feel the nice stretch up the side of your body. And last one, exhale. Excellent. And a few arm circles for upper body, nice stretch of that upper body. Excellent. And for all of us, we need to open up those hips. So just a nice stretch. That one leg goes forward and you open up that hip. And just pressing. And remember to keep breathing and then straighten this back leg and sit back in it. This is another one stretching the back of that leg and we're gonna switch. So opening up that other hip flexor and just pressing, stretching, breathing, and then back. And again, straightening that leg. Maybe you lift the toe up off the floor. It's a little bit deeper of a stretch. Perfect. I'm taking a shake. All right, we've got two more stretches. These are also ones that they do a lot. Professional athletes do these, gymnasts do this. Everyone does it. Take that leg up and you just stretch that quad muscle. So if you wanna add some balance to it, you can go out. This is called dancer pose in yoga. And see if you can add some stretch so you just push that foot into your hand and kind of stretch your thigh muscle and see if you can find some balance along with the stretch. So other leg now. So bring that leg up and you can just stand here and pull it, feeling a stretch or see if you can go into that dancer pose and add some balance for a bit of a challenge. And what was the last one? Oh, a little bit of torso twisting. So our legs, we've done this in our mindful movement. Our legs stay where they are. Take those hands to your heart. And you inhale and you exhale and you just twist. So just those shoulders twist, the legs, or the hips stay where they are. And see if you can look behind you. Inhale, exhale, twist. Notice when you exhale, you get a little more movement. A little more range of motion. And last one. Perfect. And now we're just going to take those hands. We're going to interlace our fingers behind our head. This is our last one. And you're just going to forward fold in ragdoll pose and let those arms kind of come and hang really heavy over your head. So stretching out those shoulders. Keep breathing. So your chest is on those thighs. Perfect, and roll up. All right, so let's try sit and stand again. See if we find some more flexibility. So stand up nice and tall, inhale. Exhale, we sit down and come up. Let's do this five times. Down and up. And keep going three more times. And notice if now that we've stretched all of our bodies, our lower back, We've stretched our sides, our knees, our quads, our legs. See if you find that sit and stand challenge a little bit easier. And notice how you feel now for the rest of the day. Your body should be nice and loose. There's lots of blood flowing through your muscles. So flexibility Friday, stretching is just as important as moving. So another brain break you can have, use our brain break from yesterday, our heads or tails game, or I asked you to do the brain break five times, or add in some flexibility, add in some stretching for your brain break. So I hope you understand now the importance of stretching and that flexibility can play in helping us feel better during the day, especially when we're doing so much time sitting in front of our um, iPads and computers. So today you can now stay tuned. Charlotte's going to do some of her gymnastic stretching for you, which you can watch. And our cat makes an appearance. It's very exciting. So stay tuned for that. Otherwise, carry on with the challenges I've given you, stepping, soccer, gymnastics. 
Um, do a UNICEF video for your Friday feeling. Have some fun. Enjoy the weekend and we'll see you Monday. So today we've got our flexibility Friday, stretching with Lucy. Just kidding everyone, it's stretching with Charlotte. She's gonna walk you through some stretching for flexibility in gymnastics. This is what she does at her gymnastics classes. Okay, so first we're gonna start off touching our toes. If you can't touch your toes, then just lean. But if you can go farther, then go behind your feet. And how long should we hold that, Charlotte? Um, 10 seconds. So holding everything for about 10 seconds. Now we're gonna do a lunge. Um, you can put your leg on, on the floor, but if you think that's too easy, then you can lift your leg. That stretches the side of of your thigh and your hip. Great. And then we're going to straighten our leg and fall forward. This uh, stretches your the back of your calf leg and your thigh. And then we're going to go down to pigeon stretch. If you want, you can lean forward. And remember, don't breathe like a dog when you do your stretches. Um, breathe into your nose and out through your mouth. Would that be mindful breathing? Yeah. Okay. And then, if you can, um, go for your splits. If you can't, just do this or go off on the side like that. If you are in your splits, then if you want, you can um, put your arms up for 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one. Alright, so now we're going to do the same on the other side. So switching to the other side, everyone. So starting with lunges. lunges. You, want, you can lift your leg. Switching the hip and the front of that back leg. Now we're going to straighten our body. Straighten our leg. Mm. Then shifting that way back and stretching up the back of your leg. Remember holding each stretch for about 10 seconds. Now pigeon. Now pigeon. Mm -hmm. Lucy is enjoying this. She's getting very tired. As you can see. Pigeon stretch. Three, two, four. Okay, now splits on the left side. And left sides are usually people's bad sides. Yeah. So you have a good and a bad side when it comes to splits. Yep. This is my bad side. But she got a little bored. Lucy's bored, so she left. Now she's. Oh, and she... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and then how do you end class? So. Do you first... reach up tall to the ceiling? Thank you for Flexibility Friday holding each stretch about 10 seconds. <laughs>